everybody. Welcome back to Recordology. This is going to be really interesting. So, we recently reviewed the latest generation of the fabled Crosley Cruiser portable record player. And, to everybody's surprise, it sounds fantastic for what it is. It sounds really good. I, there was almost no opinions to the contrary in the comment section. Almost everybody was like, yeah, it does sound improved. Now, we're not saying it's like super high-fi, but it's a vast improvement, and it seems as though they're really using the components in the best way possible. So the next natural question that people had, including myself, is, well, how do they do it? How do they do it? So let's take a look under the hood. Let's tear it down, see what's inside. And not only that, let's compare it to the previous version, which didn't sound as good, and see if there's anything visually that we can see different between the two. You're not going to want to miss this. This is Recordology. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Florida, so I thought we would use some of that gorgeous sunlight to help light this. Still got some studio lights on, but a lot of sunshine but a lot of sunshine bathing this device. Okay, so this is the newest version cruiser. We just reviewed it a few days ago, and it sounded good, almost like too good to be true kind of a deal. So we wanted to find out why that is, or at least attempt to. So we're gonna take it apart and see what's inside it, and then we're gonna compare it with side-by-side -side footage of the old one. So I've done this in the past with previous versions to see how it works, but now we wanna find out why this one sounds so good. And before I go any further, don't do this. This is gonna void your warranty. And I'll show you one reason why I really don't do this any more than I have to, even myself. But use this video as a reference if you are curious. Now, the reason why I don't like doing this, I, first of all, I love doing this. I love taking things apart and seeing how they work. But the reason why I have to keep this at a minimum is a lot of these things are not like built with the most rugged hardware. Specifically, I need to get a bigger screwdriver. Uh, so what happens is these are wood screws. They're not machine screws. So they're either screwed into wood, which is oftentimes a press board that'll fall apart and, you know, just turn into sawdust and strip itself out. And these screws are sometimes only good for the initial screw in. And then when you try to put them in, those holes are kind of already stripped out. They have improved that even over the latest version of this product because they started using these plastic corner posts. So that should be better, but it's still I don't want to overdo it. So let me get a better screwdriver and we'll go from there. Okay. While for some reason caked with glue, this actually is a more blunt edge. So yeah, let's pull this out and look at this screw for a second. Okay, so I don't see any material on there, which is good, but that's definitely a wood screw. That is not a machine screw. So I'm guessing they're using the plastic corner post, which was a good design. That was definitely an upgrade from the press board corner, corner posts of previous. Now these types of details are things that you may likely encounter when you're looking at like a generic, you know, no-name suitcase player versus a, a name brand one like this Crosley. Not to say that the name brand will always be better, but it's more likely that the little subtle upgrades will be, you know, present. Also, make sure this isn't plugged in if you're going to do this, which you shouldn't. You should just watch this video instead. And the only access point for this is through the plinth, so um, we need to go in through the top. Uh, let's see here. I could take the platter off, but I don't really need to, so let's go ahead and just take the whole plinth off. Let me get a better shot before I do that, though. Okay, so here we go. Uh -huh. Seeing something here that wasn't there before. Now I have to be very careful that I don't damage anything here, so I'm going to set that aside. And the first thing, the obvious thing is we have, it looks like a speaker box. Hey, look, they did go back to the wood. That is a wood corner post. Look at that. That is a wood corner post with a washer on top. The back posts have washers. And let me look at this. The front one does not. Kind of a bummer. The plastic ones that they had put in, that was a, that was a good thing. Also, see the little screw? protruding right there that's the foot on the bottom so you can see it's just it's screwed right in there you want to make you don't want to be taking that apart any more than you have to uh, before we look 
at the speaker box, which I'm guessing is, is the magical answer we're looking for. Let's look at the underside of the plinth and the mechanism. Okay, this is all very, very similar. Um, yeah, this look at the motor, same place. And there's this board right down here and this board right there. That's really all. Wait, there is another board in the back there for the output jacks and the power as well down there. But it's a pretty simple mechanism. There's a little uh, contact switch there for the tone arm position. And they've taken this MDF or, uh, you know, board material and they've shaved off a certain amount right here to make room for the speaker box. So there is the board here. We have the uh, headphone jack. Um, you can see the little zigzag right there. That would be the Bluetooth antenna. And uh, I don't think that that's changed much from the previous one. Same thing with this board up here. A couple of ribbon cables plugged into it. That all is the same. I'm guessing that the uh, board on the back here is the same. I don't see anything particularly special. Again, I'm going to intersperse clips, but I think we're all here for the speaker box. Okay, I switched the lighting. I, I closed the window. It was just a little bit shadows. I wanted to avoid the shadows. It's a little easier to see this way. So we're back on studio only lighting. So it's this box here. It is in a laminated wood box. The box is, is, a, lamina is a laminated wood box. And it fits snugly here between these two corner posts. And there is a piece of foam tape there to add as a uh, an isolator for the vibrations. Let's go ahead and spin it around and look on the back here and see if there's anything to see. There's not. So it's it's just a smooth back finish with some glue holding things in place. And as you can see, the wiring goes right into the box and is glued to hold it in place. I just knocked the washer off there. If we look down between the box and the outside, it's tough to see the speaker itself, but I'm not sure if that speaker is improved or it's just the housing, but simply, you know, creating this housing for different resonance properties versus the open box design of the previous one. Cause the old one, the speakers were just loosely in here and it, you know what I mean? Like there was, there was nothing to create that warm immediacy that a speaker box can help create. So basically it's a cabinet for the speaker. And that's fascinating to me, but it seems like a brilliant idea. And um, we should have done this a long time ago, I think. Definitely made a difference. We all heard the difference. All right, so as we put it back here, fits in there perfectly. And then we gotta be very careful, obviously, screwing these back in, because like I said, they can strip out so easily. And oftentimes you'll see little bits of sawdust from, from the hole which is a bummer. And uh, yeah, so there's a peek underneath. We now know what the trick is. Why don't we listen to some music on this? Might as well give us a chance to further analyze the sound quality. I've got a track queued up that I think will do just that. It's got some good bass, it's got some vocal. So let's listen to the overall sound quality with what we now know, how it's done, improved sound quality on this Crosley Cruiser. This, by the way, is going to be Vinyl Moon Volume 94. I've been in my head now. I don't want to feel it's like my enemy. It's always me, but I feel alone in my home. So in closing, I just want to remind you that the suitcase player does have, has had, and will have a very important part of our vinyl community because it's a gateway into the wonderful world of analog records. And with that, I want to say that this is a good positive step. Again, reiterating that the cruiser becoming a winner, more of a winner, is good for all of us because it will do better in the area of retaining people. In the past, the concern of some audiophiles has been, well, if the cruiser or something similar is their first exposure to vinyl and it doesn't sound good, that may turn them off to it and in the long run not do a service to the community. Whereas 
uh, this product sounding better is more likely to keep them and interest them and inspire them to look deeper and move on to something better in the long run. All right, my friends, and that's going to do it. If you enjoyed this show, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, I want to mention that these guys right here are only available for a short time. This is not the asphalt edition. <laughs> this one, we were putting this together. Somebody said, you know, it kind of looks like pavement. But no, this is the Starry Night edition, limited edition, 45 adapter. There's a link down below. It's only available till the 20th of this month. So if you want to get the special Christmas edition 45 adapter, jump on it. We've already had a bunch of orders come in over the last 48 hours. Very thankful for those. If you want to make sure that you secure yours, hand-finished, 3D printed, really cool looking, add to the collection. Some people are collecting all the different colors. Definitely consider doing that. Thank you, everybody, for your support, for being there. Again, if you're looking for the Christmas content, it's over on my wife's channel, Rain's Place, also linked down below. But that's going to do it for today. Happy record, honey, and we'll see you next time.